Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. Um, I want to want to talk about choices, but it's more than just choices. Um, sometimes we have choices that are that you think these choices you don't have good options for these choices when you really narrow it down you see you have maybe three or four choices and really uh, none of them you know seem, seems like it's a doable choice now a lot of times uh, those are called hard choices and a, a lot of times many times when people are faced with hard choices they end up doing nothing and um, uh, that nothing is a choice and um, for me seldom do I do nothing in the way of a choice when you do a choice when you when you go through all the different options and none of them sound good you are left with doing nothing and um, uh, like I say that is a choice uh, even though it's it's one of these choices we would we look at and saying, well, if I do nothing, then it's not my fault, or I don't, you know. And now we're right back to uh, what I say is, uh, I make these choices, and I either pay the price, because was, I, I made the wrong choice, or I reap the rewards. And, um, I do that a lot. Uh, seldom do I just go for the option about doing nothing. And what I've learned is by watching others, that's an option that most people take. And uh, the reason they take the don't do anything option is they've they haven't prepared. They haven't. Uh, thought the situation out beforehand and uh, found options, more options. Um, okay. Uh, one, you know, I kind of use the extremes on a lot of stuff, but um, uh, down here, uh, extortion is a big thing down here. And uh, what they do is they threaten you, and you you know you pay us this much money, or we're gonna you know kidnap your kids, or we're gonna kill you, or we're gonna do whatever. And uh, one of the things is on the bus drivers. You saw all the the chicken buses, and they got the the mini buses running around and all this. And what they do is uh, they will. Uh, uh, when they're getting off the bus, what they'll do, the bad guy, will uh, leave a telephone. And uh, when you leave the telephone, then then he'll, when he's getting off the bus to the driver, and he'll tell him, answer the phone. And then he'll get off the phone, or get off the bus and go on. And then what he'll do is he'll, uh, somebody will call the, uh, the number, the bus, and uh, tell him he needs to pay so much money uh, or they're going to kill him. Okay, uh, that's the type of extortion they, they use down here. Now, uh, now the bus driver is left with options. Now, the options are, you know, you, you answer the phone, you pay the ransom, or... Uh, you don't, and if you don't, then uh, you have to figure out, well, what are you going to do now? Now, um, 
I understand this is extreme, and you're thinking, well, this probably doesn't doesn't apply to you. But like I say, what it is, you you hear his the bus driver's options. They didn't have too many options, and um, uh, what are you going to do? Okay, uh, now he needs to uh, not not just a bus driver, but anybody in in a situation like that. They need to prepare. What are you going to do? Uh, how are you going to do it? I'm not going to give you the answers. I don't think I am, but I know what I'm going to do. And uh, now, the thing is, one thing I will not do is just sit back and do nothing. Now, on the outside, it may look like I'm not doing nothing. I mean, people, if you're on the outside looking at me, well, he's not doing nothing, just driving the bus and going on. But the reality is, I'll be arming myself, or I will uh, have uh, others that will be helping me to I may choose to pay the ransom and then do what I got to do uh, in other words I'm not going to sit back and do nothing there's going to be you you have to prepare now I understand this is an extreme but it's it's the same thing that goes on in people's lives all the time uh, I mean, we are told we have to do this. Now, what's the difference, the extortion, when it comes from uh, a bad guy like that or when it comes from uh, government officials? Uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's the same no matter how you look at it. It's still extortion. They're making you do things that you don't want to do. And uh, so how are you going to handle it? Now, I'll tell you what's been going on in the States. Uh, we call it tyranny. Uh, they've been controlling our lives. They've been telling us what to do through laws, regulations. And sometimes they just make this crap up uh, just to uh, make us do things. And we choose to do nothing. And when we choose to do nothing, that means we're getting in line and we're doing exactly what they tell us to do. And we've been doing it so long that we've completely lost control of our government. Our government just runs wild making up crazy regulations and laws. Uh, a good example is, like I say, the gun laws. Uh, the federal, the states are trying to take back control of, this, of the gun laws, but the federal, uh, they don't want us to have guns. The idea is to uh, stop us from having an option of taking care of ourselves and uh, taking personal responsibility. And that's the one thing that uh, the American people have been learning more and more over and over is not to take personal responsibility. That's why they got 911. Don't take personal responsibility. Dial 911. You're too stupid. Let somebody that knows how to handle the situation come in a few minutes. Right now, you're just an idiot and you're going to get yourself victimized. So that's why I'm saying take personal responsibility and prepare. Prepare isn't just accumulating stuff. Prepare is here. There's a lot of mental. You have to prepare mentally for different situations. Um, that's why I say I... I I read about stuff that happens, I study about stuff that happens, it's because it may be happening to me. And if it does, I want to have options on what I can do to counter it. And uh, it doesn't apply, now I'm telling you, I'm, I'm using extremes, but like I say, it was the same thing that happened uh, when there's sickness, sickness in the family. What, what kind of options do you have? Well, I have insurance. Okay, well your insurance only, hand, only the only thing insurance is going to pay for is what insurance is going to pay for. If it's things that you want done that insurance isn't going to pay, well then insurance isn't really a, much of an option. So, and then you're going to think, well, you know, well, uh, insurance, they're smarter than me. They know. I'm stupid. Okay, well you're right. Get your insurance, but you're too damn stupid. So let other people uh, take personal responsibility. But 
for the ones that want to take personal responsibility, they know there's different things that they can do to correct the problem, and uh, no matter what your health issues happen to be. So in other words, it not only goes for personal safety, but it, it goes for your personal health. We have the responsibility to take care of ourselves. We choose to give that responsibility to somebody else, whether it's the 911, whether it's uh, to the uh, insurance companies, whether it's to the doctor. You know, we chose not to take that responsibility. That's why we gave it to them. And when you do that, what I talk about, you pay the price or you reap the rewards. There are no rewards when you give responsibility to others. There's no rewards on that. You're just surviving according to their whim. How they want you to survive is the way you're going to survive. So in other words, if, well, I lost my job, so I'm going to not take personal responsibility. I'm going to let unemployment take care of me. Now I'm going to learn to live on this much money instead of improving our lives and doing better. That's called taking personal responsibility. So it, it falls under finance, mental, uh, physical, everything. Taking personal responsibility. Take choices. Those tough choices, they're tough when you start taking them. But as you get in the habit of making hard decisions, it gets easier. This is Mike. No stress, Mike. Dot com.